guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you a typical dorm room in PLU. The dorm room I chose is a one in Hong, it's called the showroom. So it's like furnished show to like what you could typically see. Most of the rooms are like this, so Hong, rooms, Hinderly, these are the resident halls called. Uh, Kreidler, Kreidler's a little different, that's the dorm I live in. The rooms are a little different because there's one less bed, but I believe the other dorms like Flieger and T Tinglestad and then Stuen and Oral are pretty similar. I might be wrong, but here is the typical, and this is a showroom, so it's fully furnished and decorated. So we walk in. As you can see, it's set up for two people, which is normal. A lot of the dorms, you're, especially in your freshman and sophomore year, you live in, uh, they, they really push for people to live as with roommates. So as you can see, there's two beds. These are single size, I believe. Single size are standard. Um, the mattress comes with the frame. You can get them lofted and changed. There are two tables, one like this one, and the, right, that's separate, and then one against the walls attached. If you live in Kreidler, you get like your own single one and all that. The beds can be lofted really high, so if you get your own room, which is very rare if you're like a first year or sophomore, but they can be like set high, so you can do them put like up, up to here or something, sorry. And they can be like, so you can put like a couch or underneath there, which have like a little loft area. Um, the, so the beds and then the tables come with it, the chairs. You get two closets and then this little mirror area where you can put stuff like food, furniture, not furniture, but like houseware stuff, and then like bottles and stuff. You have to, the bathrooms here are convenient. You get all these drawers. So most likely what's gonna happen is you're gonna split and you have these upward cabinets. Then you get these single ones, beds. Ooh, they're actually filled. To really show what you can do, I guess. And you get this little cabin area, pretty much, good uh, the hooks cabin in there kind of high I can't even reach them I have to stand on my tiptoes and then you get that little camera area and just like that you can fill it in with just different things so there's a like that's I think typical why comes with also like a recycling bin uh, trash each person gets a recycling bin because they kind of encourage for you to recycle possible sustainability um, a mirror area Area. and then this one as well so same kind of style kind of drawers and stuff I just wanted you all to see that now we can close which is not here there we go and then like you know you can set your computer all this is old-fashioned just to give you an idea that has like a little area to where you can put stuff on top this is gonna be the ground floor, one for this bed here area. So I don't know, it really depends on how you want to set everything up with you and your roommate. You can put like whiteboards on, stuff, those all have to come down though. And then, yeah, it's pretty nice. If you live one, even if you live in single dorms, like Kreidler or Stuen, it'll be, because Stuen's gonna become a upper division level, only upper divisions can stay in the single rooms, it becomes like that. So not too much. I've never been to the bathroom, but I can show you the bathroom area actually because there's no one in campus right now. I will show you the bathroom, but that's pretty much, it's a decent size, you and your roommate. You all just have to figure out schedules and everything, some people, but they really give you this survey, like what time do you usually go to bed, what time do you wake up, just so that it's a little easier and that you all can like, you know, just fan, like make it fancy. So these are all the dorms I live in. So it's, they come in communities. I live in Kreidler. South and Kreidler are the upper divisions. But Stewin is becoming, now all this stuff, like social justice, student color, person and family will be moving to Oral, which is an amazing building. This will be upper division as well. Kreidler was supposed to close, but it is staying open. It's gonna be treated as single. They just want, PLU just wants to offer more single rooms. So sophomores, juniors, and seniors can apply to live in Kreidler. It's gonna be a dry dorm, upper division dorms usually if it, would be allowed to have like alcohol, but the, not, Kreidler will not because there's gonna be a mix. So all of these are dorms, which is great. So yeah, all of this, it's actually nice. Like I've seen a lot of the RAs who I've worked with, they indicate that it's a good decent sized dorm, um, especially if you're living your own, but even with roommates. 
and PLUs push is to really just get to like especially if you're moving out of the dorms for the first time it's for you to allow to stay in everything and get to like work with someone like you you know you go through different problems possibly communication so you just all learn from each other so yeah this is desk area it comes with like a sort of smart switch where you can plug a power certain like a power switch where you can put multiple things so real nice they actually took take you here for the dorm tours when they're doing the big tours for the building as i'm kidding again this is hong so that room was just in what is called the chinese wing hong is broken down in the, uh, oops broken into different names of like the uh, area and so here are just bathrooms and stuff this is like you share a community bathroom so here's one of them the toilets this is a men's wing and stuff i've never been in the shower area but so i guess this is how it is there's a couple oh it's like a full oh i can't even see that is there another one there's another light. So here it is, like a full one. Let's see here. So um, yeah, this is community style and showering and everything. I prefer you have to come here to brush your teeth and all that and stuff like that. I one of the biggest things I love is having my own bathroom. So I would most likely go move into South, which is like a studio style or apartments but yeah so that pretty much shows you a little bit what dorms at pacific lutheran university or majority of them are like uh, if you stay spe specifically for freshmen sophomore and even juniors possibly you can juniors you can move into upper division housing but even if you apply for south where you there's studio styles or apartments or those it's based on like a point system so there is still a chance you might not get them but there is a chance. So as I showed, like indicated, you're going to be utilizing a community bathroom on that until you, unless you move off campus or live in the South where you get your own bathrooms. Uh, laundry rooms, you still utilize their community as well. So all the buildings are usually on like the basement and each building has a different number, but you usually do it in a community style laundry room, even in South. So I think that my mindset is I really, for me, I didn't mind living in the South, especially being in the Air Force. The dorms were very similar like that. A community, like we got our own private bathrooms, of course, but like laundry rooms were community as well. It was a different like change and everything, but it's nothing too bad. Uh, it, I really got to, I'm really glad I got to live in a more traditional style dorm and living on a traditional campus and actually experiencing the campus life. So that's just one of the rooms, but a lot of the rooms are very similar to what you just saw. And that's something that you will be, you'll notice a lot of the dorms are like that res halls. It is raining because it is Washington. But yeah, uh, I think the dorms are actually not that bad. Uh, some are newer, some got remodeled. And it's actually just how you make it, your experience and all that. So that is Pacific Lutheran University dorm style. And that was the sh what's called the showroom. So how you can furnish. Of course, you will add your own spin to those things. I hope you guys like this video. I'll definitely maybe do a tour of Kreidler because that's where I've lived for the last 10 months and show you all about it. As always, if you want any more have comments, go ahead, post it below and I do answer them. I do actually enjoy answering comments. Like this video, share it. And if you're going to be coming to Pacific Lutheran University, go Lutes! Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.